Just eating my cheese sandwich before tonight. Oh my god, what a bloody conundrum that was. Good morning. It's not often you see like my fresh face from the morning <laughs> in these vlogs. Welcome back to a new vlog if you're returning or welcome if you're new here. I am, well, my voice is very, very croaky because I've just woken up so you could have to bear with me. Today I am working as per. I think I'm gonna get a Greg's breakfast because I've had it in my head for like the past three days that on Monday I'm gonna get a breakfast. Greg's breakfast. <laughs> so I'm gonna go and do that. And yeah, like I said, I've got work, so I need to work as well. I've currently got a full bladder. Why am I saying I've got a full bladder? Like I just need a wee. I don't I don't even know. Today I basically spent the full day hungover going out on Saturday, but I wanna say never again, but like let's be honest. So yeah, I am gonna head off to Greg's now and get yeah, Greg's breakfast. One big thing though. Like, update on my nose piercing. I don't even know if you can see. It does not want to focus. Can't wait to get a new camera. Oh, oh. Ah, look at it. Update on my nose piercing. So, basically, um, as you can see, the lump is like, really, really gone down. Basically, it got infected because the stud fell out and then I had to put a ring in and obviously that irritated it and it was doing great until I had to do that. And then it got infected. I've been cleaning it, like, trying to get this bloody lump down and it wouldn't go down but now it's basically gone there is like a little bit of a lump there but it's not like red it's like absolutely fine so yeah i'm happy that my nose piercing is living its best life i don't know if i want to change it back into a stud or keep it as a ring i'm not too sure but anyway i'm gonna go and grab grab some breakfast and then start work so i will catch up with you a little bit later on one eternity later <laughs> morning i didn't really vlog yesterday so i'm kind of making up for it today slash for the rest of the week basically yesterday i did some work and then i went to the gym i did legs at the gym so i feel really really good today i've been to starbucks this morning to do some work because obviously i'm working today i also edited last week's vlog which was a complete mess so i'm so sorry but that's going up tonight i hope it makes you chuckle because i was in stitches that whole vlog I'm just gonna pop you down there. Yeah, I was in stitches literally that whole vlog. I just wanted to pop on and say hi. I just let you know that, you know, I'm still alive, I'm still kicking. I'm gonna try and vlog more this week than I did last week. I'm trying to like put more effort into my vlog this week. It's not that I didn't last week, it's just that like I felt like I didn't really have a lot to vlog and I didn't want to do like all these sit down chats the whole vlog because I feel like that's a bit boring. So I kind of just kept in the interesting parts I guess, that's why it was a bit of a mess. So yeah, I am going to do some work today. I've got legs, bums and tons tonight which I'm very excited about because it's my favourite gym class of the week. It's about it, it's really hot down here but it's really like not cold outside but it's a bit breezy outside and it's been really in as well so um i think i might go to the traffic center at some point this week as well so i'll take you along to that but i'm gonna carry on with my work now and i'll probably next check in with you when i'm about to go to legs bombs and tums I basically suck because I said, you know what, I'm going to vlog a lot today. And as you would have seen, today is actually Thursday, so I'm sorry about that. However, you would have seen that I actually did vlog my gym class because I went to, well, I did body combat and then I did body pump after. So I'm back into doing two classes, which... I feel so good. My legs are killing me now though. And I have decided that instead of training tomorrow, normally I like train at the gym on a Friday. So normally I do legs, but instead of training tomorrow, I think I'm gonna go to the traffic center. And obviously I'm on my legs a lot when I go to the traffic center <laughs> walking around and stuff. And I wanna film a come shot with me as well. So I thought I would do a come shot with me from the traffic center one. I did go into Primark today and pick up a couple of things, but I don't think I'm gonna show you on this vlog because I want to leave it for a haul however one thing that i did end up getting though is this little number 
These are some really cute shorts from H&M. These were $17.99, but as you can see, they're quite wide shorts. It turns out that I'm actually going out again tomorrow night, so I think I'm gonna wear these and just like rock a casual sort of look. I thought I would vlog and do an M&S haul. The gym, basically where the gym is, there's an M&S. So I got some seeded brown bread um, for breakfast, because I have that, like I toast it. And then I got some sweet chili crisps, which is basically going to go with my tea for tonight. In the sale, there was a hoisin duck wrap, so I decided to get that because it was reduced. Oh my god, I treated myself. I went a little bit out there. I bought some beef bolognese. This was £3.75, which is very, very expensive, but it is M&S food, and I thought I'd treat myself. So I treated myself to a beef bolognese from M&S that I can probably have either this weekend or the beginning of next week. Finally, I got this hot smoked salmon new potato salad this is high in protein i actually picked this up because i was like oh it sounds quite nice because i like salmon and then i saw that it was high in protein so i was like that's even better this is actually best before today but i'm gonna be a bit naughty and have it tomorrow for lunch because it is literally the sake of like 12 hours i eat out of date stuff all the time and when you live on your own you kind of realize that if it ain't moldy and it hasn't gone off then you just eat it because obviously you're not going to waste the food so i just decided to get this because it was reduced from four pound fifty from what to one pound sixty seven so that's over fifty percent off i've got my lunch for tomorrow so what is and my breakfast because i've got some more of my bread so i'm gonna dig in and have my duck wrap which when I was at stood in combat, I was thinking, oh my god, right now, I could literally have a duck wrap. And then I'm going to have a shower and tan because, like I said, I'm going out tomorrow. So, um, I need to get ready and look my best. So, I'm just sat in bed. I am literally just uploading my final assignment for year two which is so exciting. Basically, I say this all the time, but I'm a degree apprentice. So I do university part-time, it's a four year course, but I work full-time as well. <laughs> Five hours later. Here we go. I am literally about to click upload this file and submit it. I've actually spent a long time on this. Like I've taken quite a bit of time off work because obviously I get 20% off work to work on my assignment and like learn and stuff. I've actually spent a long time on this, so if I don't get more than a 68, which seems to be something that I get all the time, which by the way is two marks off a of first, if I get more than a 68 and not a 69, then we'll be buzzing. I don't know why I'm making this so dramatic. It does not need to be dramatic. She is uploading as we speak, very bloody, bloody slowly. I mean, I agree to the terms. This is like I'm uploading a dissertation or something and I'm really, really not. I'm just, just another assignment, but I'm going to make this very dramatic. She's gone! Basically, I didn't need to submit it tonight. Um, It's actually due in tomorrow at 9pm. 9, 9 I've got work tomorrow and I, I've got like stuff that I need to do for work. So I just thought I'd literally just reference and get everything out of the way today so i've submitted that i've just looked at the feedback date and it's a day before my birthday so that's gonna be fun that <laughs> could be very good or very bad but basically that assignment was on key issues in the digital environment which was like really interesting because we got to talk about like stuff that's upcoming um i'm studying digital marketing which a lot of people think digital marketing is literally just posting on social media or doing a bit of google or seo and obviously it is that but there is so much more to it so we were looking at like things that are going to influence the digital environment this is probably so boring for a lot of you but i found it really interesting because i was looking at like chatbots how people feel about sustainability and how we can like use that in basically our marketing strategies but it's so good because you get to reference and find evidence and like it helps me in my job because i'm like looking at all these stats and stuff and i'm being like oh like this is important we need to bring this back to like clients and stuff so it's it's actually a really really good course because as well as like learning you're actively bringing it into a workplace now i work in a marketing agency so i look after quite a few clients which is really really nice because i get to kind of have a broad spectrum of things rather than just working on one a lot of people on my course just work for like one business but i'm kind of lucky that i have loads to go with so every assignment so far i've done 
on a different client but yeah so it was it was really interesting and I came up with like an idea which I'm not gonna say because I, I don't feel like I can really like say I don't know I came up with a really interesting like marketing idea that no one's done before because we had to research like how we were going to get around these issues and we had to think of something that hasn't been done before and obviously working in marketing pretty much everything has been done you really need to think outside the box I thought outside the box I researched and made sure that no other bloody person had done it hopefully I get an all right mark on this I feel all right you know like this is the first one in a while that I felt all right but I think it's because I've put a lot of time into this one not that I haven't with my others but I've allowed myself to have more time out of work for it yeah I'm now gonna go to sleep though I feel like I've been rambling to this camera like I said I'm going out tomorrow I think I'm gonna get up early tomorrow and start work but I'm not sure because I'm going to the traffic center tomorrow and then I'm going like on a night out again which I'm so excited about I am gonna head to bed now I am so tired and I will catch up with you tomorrow <laughs> So I was going to say good morning, but it's actually the afternoon. I promise I've been up, like, longer, because obviously I've been working. I've just been to the coffee shop that I went to in last week's vlog, just to do some work. So I've done that. And now I'm just currently working, but I just thought I would pop in and say hi. The plan for today is for me to, like battle through my work so i can go to the traffic center which i'm very excited about because i love a good trip to the traffic center and basically where i live i can get the bus there because obviously i can't ever drive because of my um eyesight because i'm registered partially blind well partially sighted but basically partially blind so i need to get the bus there so i'm going to do that and then like i said i'm going out tonight so i need to get ready also ignore my hair i kind of washed it last night can you tell i have fake tanned as well i can definitely tell need some tlc still wet <laughs> and it's also been raining outside so i don't think that helped just eating my cheese sandwich before tonight Hello, I look so different to how I did in like the previous clip, but I am ready to go. I'm so excited. I've curled my hair, but I washed it yesterday, so it's kind of still straight. It's more like wavy. I'm wearing this top, which is from Zara, which was in my most recent Zara haul. I'm gonna see if I can turn the camera around so you can see the full outfit. My bag is one that I recently got from Primark. This is new in, by the way, so. Why is my camera all horrible? Is that better? This is from Primark. Jeans are from Weekday, which are the ones in my recent haul. Shoes are old school Vans, which are so dirty right now because I used to go on walks in them. But this is basically my outfit. I'm feeling good. I went to Tesco and I bought some vodka. So I'm just currently drinking my vodka orange before I go. Very exciting. I kind of like my outfit, my makeup. It kind of went okay today. And I've just watched Love Island as well. Oh my God, what a bloody conundrum that was. What are our thoughts? It's kind of a sticky one because they weren't together. So like in the outside, it would be like the speaking stage. Someone I was like speaking to ended up like sleeping with someone else. But then I got in a relationship with him and it wasn't Jordan by the way. <laughs> and that was like pre-YouTube. So I kind of not forgave him, but was like, do you know what I mean? I mean, I ended up getting cheated on anyway, but I don't know. It's a funny one because, like, they're not together, but then they spend, like, every day with each other. I would probably be annoyed. I'd probably be in Millie's position, but how are we feeling? I just don't know what it is with, like, some boys nowadays. I know it's not all because there's some good ones out there. I still live with my ex, so clearly there's some good ones out there. Sorry, I'm just kind of doing this because uh, my curls are dropping. Oh, oh well. <laughs> oh. Okay, so I've still not got yet, gone yet, but, right, how bloody cute is this? Ever <laughs> since I started going out out when I was 18, because to be fair, I was very well behaved. I only went on my first night out when I was 18, like on my 18th birthday, because I wanted to wait and I feel like it was better than me waiting just personally. That was how I felt. But anyway, since then, I've always brought out a little purse with me on a night out. Rather than bringing my big purse so I can put like my coins in, my card, everything in this little one. This is like a little alpaca one. It's so cute. I got it from Kenji, I think. And also, I just wanted to pop on and say like one other thing. So recently, by the way, I'm not paid to say this. This isn't sponsored. This is just gifted. Recently, I was gifted this real babe body spray from misguided i did put it on my instagram story the other day but it smells so good so i've been wearing it before going to the gym they do also do a perfume and i have been wearing the perfume but i feel like 
And my Ariana Grande perfume is like my signature scent. And you know when sometimes you just need a body spray to like freshen everything up? I've been wearing this body spray pretty much every day since I was gifted it, like genuinely. Because you know when you go to the gym and like you put your deodorant on but you just want an extra little scent but you're like I can't really wear a perfume because it'll just sweat off. Just gouge yourself in this. I think that's the word. It's gentle neutral as well. Well, anyone can wear any fragrance anyway, but it is specifically made to be gentle neutral. So just wanted to put that out there. I'll leave a link to it down below because you can get it from Misguided or Superdrug. Anyway, I'm getting ready. I'm going to put some of my signature Ariana perfume on. I say signature, but genuinely all I wear is Ariana's perfumes. If you've been following me for ages, you know that genuinely I've loved Ariana since I was like 13. So since 2012, before our first album, I absolutely love Thank you, next. This is still my first bottle. I have the 100ml in pretty much every one of her perfumes, but I think Thank You Next is my favourite, followed by Ari. So I'm gonna like spritz this on me and I'm gonna go in a minute because it's like 11 o'clock and I know that's very late. And I also need to finish like this massive vodka orange before I go. <laughs> Cause I decided to finish off the rest of the vodka in the bottle. There was only a little bit left from when Sancha came to be fair. There's no point having a dribble at the end. Becca. I'm on Chloe's phone at the moment. She doesn't know I'm on her phone, but I'm on her phone at the moment. My hair isn't looking too bad. I mean, I did curl it, but it's not really curly anymore. That's absolutely fine. Um, we're on our way to Attic. I just thought I'd vlog. Ooh, maybe I could do it landscape. Oh, she's going across the room. She doesn't even know I've got a phone. She's literally right in front of me. Let me show you. Doesn't even... Well, she, obviously she gave me a phone. Like, I'm not one to steal her phone, obviously. This is my phone in my hand. But I just thought I would talk on Chloe's phone. Maybe she will send me this for my vlog. That'd be quite good, wouldn't it? I actually curled my hair. It's not curly. Can you see? I just put some live gloss on. But it's not glossy. So I need to re-gloss. Freedom weekend, and we're all going to at it. Like and subscribe. <laughs> you Come heard on. it here. Come on. Hello, it is Saturday. Obviously, I went out last night. I wasn't actually gonna go out. So basically, it was meant to be me and my friend. Sorry, I'm gonna put this up so I can like sit back. There we go. Yeah, I was meant to be meeting my friend and it got to like 12 o'clock, like midnight, and she still hadn't texted me. So I got changed in my pajamas and was like, okay, like this night out isn't happening because I thought she was like drunk or had gone home or whatever else. Anyway, long story short, it ends up happening. I came home at like half five this morning. I feel like when I go on a night out, I have to like, yeah, I've still got stamps on. I'm gonna have a shower and sort myself out. I feel like when I go on a night out, I go quite hard as in I normally get quite drunk, not like bad drunk, just like a good level of drunk, which I was last night. Like I'm actually quite proud of that. And then normally I come home like a lot later on. I don't know, I always have done. Like, I used to wander home at 8 o'clock in the morning. But it was a really good night. It's currently half three in the afternoon. I'm actually feeling really good, you know. I thought I'd be proper hungover and I'm not. I know I've only just woken up, but I think when you go to bed at like five o'clock, I need a lot of sleep anyway. So I think the fact that I got a really, really long sleep, I think that's really helped. It's just nice to be out with my friends. I really value friendship and I always have really valued friendship. Now I'm gonna probably just chill, I'm probably gonna watch some Netflix. I actually want to film a Primark come shop with me. A H&M come shop with me. So I don't know if I'm gonna actually go out today and maybe film that. I could do that. TBC. <laughs> Good morning. I know I didn't really vlog a lot yesterday. Basically, <coughs> what was that? Basically, um, I went out yesterday afternoon because like I said, I was feeling quite good yesterday. Like I wasn't feeling hungover. So I went out yesterday afternoon. I went to H&M. I bought some stuff. I filmed like a cum shot with me to H&M because I love what's in at H&M at the moment. So I thought I'd do a cum shot with me. And I put it on my poll on Instagram and it was like 50-50 between Primark and H&M as a cum shot with me. So I'm going to do a Primark one at some point. My inset is not amazing in the flat at all. Basically, the landlord 
copies for our broadband we tried to get a virgin line put in but if they put the line in and they damage basically the property then we lose our deposit so like the broadband situation has never been good here normally i upload on 4g but i am running very very low on 4g and it runs out on the 5th and it's the 1st of august today so i'm gonna go and go to the coffee shop that i've been going to recently because they have good upload speeds yes i'm a nerd and i look at what upload speeds and download speeds there are in places because in times like these you need to like know where is the best place to upload videos and to be fair it is only like a six minute video i think so it should upload quite quick i think that's pretty much everything actually i got a beauty big parcel yesterday as well which i need to do a testing video on look at me doing a makeup testing video it's been a long ass time since last time i did one of those but yeah so i'm gonna film that probably on tuesday because that's my day off the gym so yeah i'm gonna go and grab a coffee and i'll take you guys along with me as well So it's a little bit later on now. Basically, I went to that coffee shop, uploaded my video because it uploaded in like 10 minutes, <laughs> which it would have taken like three hours here. So I did that. That video is now up. I'm now just about to make myself some tea. I'm going to have the beef bolognese that I bought from m &S, the one that cost me an arm and a leg. Well, it was like £3.75, so not necessarily an arm and a leg. I don't actually know how to cook this. So you can put it on an oven tray and then just put it in the oven for 25 minutes. That's fine. I actually do fancy having this. Not look appetising because this was me that made it, but this is my spaghetti bolognese from m &S. Woo! <laughs> Hello, this is me from the future. I just wanted to say I'm so sorry for not ending this weekly vlog. I am probably the worst vlogger ever, I know. Um, but I just wanted to say thank you for watching. I hope you did enjoy. I know it was a little bit of a mess again this week. Um, but I'm actually filming this on the Wednesday of the following week. So I can tell you this week's vlog is a lot better than last week's. Um, so I really hope that you did enjoy this video. Don't forget to smash it a big massive thumbs up. And hopefully I'll see you on my next video very soon. Bye.